Hi, welcome to Ranger Garage. I'm glad you found our channel. On this channel, you're gonna learn a lot about vehicle maintenance. We're gonna show the everyday person how to work on classic vehicles, modern day vehicles, things that you can do yourself instead of paying you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars, hundreds and or thousands of dollars to mechanics uh, and, mechanic and uh, other shops. Uh, we'll teach you some customization, some modernization stuff. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please subscribe, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about uh, the work that we've done, maybe it wasn't clear, feel free to email us at rangergarage uh, at gmail.com. Hope you enjoy. Hi, welcome to this episode of Ranger Garage. Today, we are going to work on the tailgate panel uh, on my Bronco. I'll show you what this looks like. Um, this is the panel here. Now, the problem we got is uh, missing some screws up here, and then the support brackets here uh, have some rust on them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit those with a rust reformer, and then I'm going to, uh, I've already purchased some bolts and some nuts and washers, and I'm going to reassemble that uh, today. So, uh, welcome. Hope you enjoy it. And this, this also works well for the same for um, 80s and early 90 model uh Full size F 150s, F 250s, 350s, um, the old OBE, old body style. So, uh, hope you enjoy. So, this is the can of uh, Rush Reformer that I use. Um, and the brackets that I'm referring to are these, these type brackets here. Uh, these go on the inside of that metal and then they attach to, uh, they connect to the metal trim and they attach to the, to the tailgate and then you bolt them in from inside the tailgate. Uh, after removing the tailgate panel on the inside. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to spray these down with rust reformer, and then I'm going to reattach these back to uh, that metal trim you see right there. And then I'll reconnect it. Thanks. So what I do is, first thing I do is I take a little sandpaper, and I knock off the rust. Not heavily, just get all the loose rust off. That's all you really need to do, because rust reformer converts rust to... Uh, um, to paintable surface, so you're not overly concerned about that. So I got that, and then I wipe this down, wipe it clean, and uh, do the next one. I'm gonna hit it with a rust reformer. Now on this one, you don't have to worry about you know the way it looks or um, how to take it on or anything like that. It's simply just just paint it. Uh, this is not going to be seen. All we're really trying to do is just convert the rust to paintable, or to uh, convert the rust, to <laughs> convert the rust to a uh, decent surface. Um, in this case, we're not painting it, so it's not a big issue. We're just trying to keep it from rusting from the inside, so that we don't have to deal with repairing the uh, tailgate anytime soon. All right, and that is it. And we'll only use about one coat of rust reformer. Now, to put on this uh, uh, trim on the outside of the tailgate, the first thing we have to do is remove this portion, this portion of the inside of the tailgate. Um, it's held on on this Bronco. It's held on with a Phillips head screwdriver. We held a Phillips head screw and simply just take it in. Now what I've done, maybe you notice, is I put uh, like a truck bed liner on my tailgate, um, as well as on the inside floor of my Bronco. So that's probably what you're, you're seeing, just in case you were wondering. Um, otherwise it's a normal, uh, standard OE cover. So I am removing these screws. I don't even have all the screws in, I've only got six. Uh, it's supposed to have uh, 10, I believe. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10. And I am removing the last two. And I just started taking these off at the start of the video, so it doesn't take long. And 
those are out. I haven't had the uh, panel off since I rhino lined it or uh, uh, bed lined it, so it was a little, little touchy. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside, and if you see, I don't know if you can see these holes here, one here, one here. Um, these are the areas where. Uh, it has to be bolted in from the back. So we are going to have to extend the um, rear, rear window. Uh, we'll have to support that with probably a stool or something like that uh, to make sure it doesn't bend so that we can fully get this on. So I've gotten these on. If you can tell, I just put those back in. And now I'm going to try to uh, position them up under the tailgate. And then I will end up bolting them down and these holes here. Okay, here I am up under the Bronco. And if you can see, I've got this laying up against it. Now I'm gonna have to try to get those bolts that we talked about, those brackets, um, slapped into those holes. And uh, once we do that, then I'll be able to bolt on the ends. So we'll see how it goes. This box to uh, support the, the panel. Uh, and I had to get very creative on how I was going to do this. This top part right here, I'm probably not going to get in. So I'm hopefully going to be able to tighten it down with some other stuff. But I have gotten these bolts on. And now all I have to do is crank them down. Okay. Tighten it up. Hardest part was finding a socket. <laughs> and uh, so as soon as I get this on, I'll show you what it looks like. It is on. Pretty tight. No gaps. And I think it looks good. All right.